Um, I guess the question is, do I want him to hold, to try and hold the Warlord? I don't know if I do. That's probably fine. I mean, if they want to take a really crazy, awkward path around me, feel free to. Sure. Um, I only have one actual tank in this formation. It's this guy. I think you take it more for their resolve than anything else. Like, it prevents you from having to take Fortified Mind and it gives you some more defensive stats. The stun there is horrible because he doesn't get to end on. One, two, three, four. So this tile is safe, um, and which means this tile is safe. I still don't think I go for it. So I think I just do this.
Fortunately, we got a lot of cleavers, but, you know. Him not having a shield is a big deal, but fortunately we're gonna get this get him help. That decision there was trying to figure out where I wanted to put the support for him, right? So like if I wanted to flex support to set up death blows, or if I wanted to just go ahead and dagger them down to keep support top, I think the bottom part of the fight is like, okay, this is sus because his shield's broken, but obviously he had a heater, so those are gonna break. Like a heater and a three axes. But I think that I think that from here, I want, I like, I think this is mostly solved. He still has a bunch of Indom procs. So we just keep, we, this is, this is done. Um, I need to make sure I contain this up here and then we'll move over to help our tank. And like, that's the end of the fight. guy needs to be not where he's currently standing. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any axes, so I didn't get to demonstrate, like, <laughs> like he was on the wrong side to catch the axes, so I didn't get to demonstrate the rotating shields on here. But this is how I use my tanks. This is why they have Lone Wolf. They run out front, they tie up two to three, sometimes four threats. Occasionally they catch fodder too, but like, that's, that's how I use my tanks.
Um, he acts in eight turns. He acts in nine turns. So he does get to move. Um, so I think I do get to do this. I do like finishing things off because he, he has his rally. So you can't just treat things as dead necessarily when it starts fleeing until he's until he's down. I'm like, why did the camera go way down there? That takes care of that one. I mean, I, I guess I technically do, like, have to kill this thing, huh? Um, 
where's my line? One, two, three, four. So this is like, this is a fine tile. So before I move in and break Lone Wolf, I'm gonna make sure I have everybody cleaned up and reorganized. Cause like sometimes one of the hardest things is the extracting of, of bros out of uh, like out of situations. Are you happy I'm using it? No, I'm kidding. But yeah. start there and just work away. Oh, no, no. Don't get scared now. He needs to have an angle. Because if he's base to base behind someone, they just push, right? Yep. This is why we start moving guys in the way we do. Because then you have issues. I think if, if that one specifically wants to be done, that's okay. Again, let's just get guys up here, make sure I tank. Like, this guy, this guy with 75 resolve even still breaks. That's why I'm like, I mean, mind you, you're putting him under way more pressure than you'd ever put a normal bro. But still. Okay, we're just we're just cleaning things up here. Bueller, I didn't lose chat, did I? Like everybody, like I'm I'm seeing current chat. I just want to make sure. If I'm not answering people, it's not intentional. Okay. I got scared for a minute. I was like, Britt, don't leave me alone with my own thoughts. I do still need to get this warrior off my tank. And I've broken, like, once you break Lone Wolf, it's you kind of like have a clock, right? To like get it done in.
It's easier to make jokes about cultists. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I just I want that order to be good. I might I might have to like straight up admit that that origin is just miserable. But I don't I don't like giving up that easily. So I'm gonna have to. I just want to test it off stream. Like it's really hard. It's really hard to when you're creating content and you need to like learn something difficult on stream because like people will come in while you're while you're learning something and they'll be like oh you're clearly terrible at this right because if it's their first experience and they only see like 30 minutes they, they don't know how many times you've beaten monolith they just know that, like you know you you they clicked on something and somebody's like chain wiping you know so like it's kind of like, you know, what do you do? So I, I, I think I'd rather have a better grasp on it. Like, I definitely think it's possible. I think I just need to figure out the best way to do it. And like double, for example, has probably already solved the problem. It just like doesn't want to give me the answer. Which is fine. I see how you do me double. I see how you do me. Please also remember some of us come exactly for the reason you are playing something other than the pop for for that reason. Okay. Because you're playing starts and aren't the popular starts. Yeah. That's good perspective, because I don't know. Like I wanna I wanna give people like the content they want, right? Like I wanna have a good time playing the game. But how many lone wolf lag can people watch? So it was interesting, right? So I did the first 20 day videos for Raiders, Glads, and um, a new company. I did the overexplain for like those those origins, right? Guess which which video like popped off. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Yeah, like, like not close, not funny. Like, like the Raiders video is like almost, almost triple the view count of, um, is approaching like triple the view count of new company. Like the last time I looked anyway. injuries um a little took some armor damage on a forge tank but like it's a forge tank uh but no injuries 
Um, no major HP damage. And no famed. Never famed. Never famed. Never famed. All right. Yeah. So like when you were talking about tanks in like late game org camps, like how did you guys feel about that tank's performance in that fight? And obviously like I love throwers. Hey, Jorman Lee with the subscription. Thank you. I appreciate that. He tied up a warlord. Um, I mean, he had five. He had five enemies on him, right? Like he did good. And the other thing he did, he also controlled space, right? So the AI is not going to willingly run into an enemy that they have five percents against, unless it, unless it doesn't have a choice, right? So quite a few of the warriors went really far out of their way to the north. I think a berserker did too. Two berserkers.